Hello. In this video, we are going to show you in detail how to make the most out of the improve section within the do finder control panel. Let's start with the first section of this block, Playground. Playground is a tool that allows you to discover how the search engine behaves when searches are carried out on your website. It's a test environment that will return the same results and in the same order as the search engine inside your store. Additionally, you can see in the first column what individual and automatic relevance the search engine assigns to each product. In the second column, you can see if you have made any manual adjustments through boosting. In the third one, the product score is shown, which is the final relevance given to each product. The higher the number is, the more relevant it will be within a search. Furthermore, if you click the plus sign button of any product, you will obtain all the information you have um, indexed about the product within your feed, which is the information that the do finder algorithm is based on to weigh and position each product. You can also see if the search term triggers a custom result, a banner, or if it's a part of a string of synonyms. Now let's get to the next section within the improved block, manual boosting. In this section, you can manually increase the relevance of products, modifying the multiplier factor, which by default is one. And bear in mind that the weight will be modified for all searches, not for specific ones. For example, if we search for Adidas, uh, we can see on the right side that all products have a default value of one, which is the multiplier that do finder assigns by default. If this multiplier is not modified, the relevance that do finder calculates for each of the products will be maintained based on the search settings. For example, for this product, the second result has this relevance. If you modify the multiplier, it will obviously multiply, increasing its relevance and this product will be positioned higher. Obviously, the multipliers have to be greater than zero. Between zero and one, the weight will be negative since you will be multiplying by the number. But what if you want to do this in bulk? For example, if you want to apply this boosting to all Adidas products at the same time, because you want Adidas uh, products to always come first when you are looking for shoes, then you can do this by applying boosting based on criteria such as brand, category, etc. This is done via boosting rules. Let's imagine that you want to give more importance to all the Adidas products and promote this brand in the search results within your e-commerce. You have to click on add new and first you have to write a descriptive name for this rule. For example, brand is Adidas. Then take the box to leave this rule enabled. And in the property section, just select a multiplier. For example, um, give it a boost of two, then apply the conditions for this boost. And you can choose the logic behind the rule that you are going to set up, selecting if you want to apply the boosting only to products that meet all the criteria, or if it can be applied to those that meet any of them individually. In the field section, you will be able to see all the entries that you have inside your catalog. In this case, you are looking for the brand field, which refers to the product brand that you have um, selected. And you can choose between two logics to include or exclude brands. In this case, you want to apply the boost to Adidas products. You could also add extra conditions. So far, you have applied a two times boosting to all Adidas products. But let's imagine, for example, that you do not want this condition to apply to size 40 Adidas shoes. Then you would do the following. Click on add condition and then select size, then select is not and write 40. With these conditions, you would be telling the search engine to apply a two times boost to all Adidas articles except for the size 40 shoes. Now, 
save the changes and it's done. Let's continue with the next section within boosting. Boosting configuration. By default, DoFinder learns from the searches carried out in your website and the clicks made on your products and it alters the relevance of your products based on that. At the bottom, you can see the boosting pressure. DoFinder by default gives all the products in your feed a rating of 1. But because DoFinder learns with the use, it alters the valuation given to each product. What you can do here is to set a maximum variation DoFinder can apply on its own. For example, if they search for the word Adidas in your search engine and almost always click on the same result, DoFinder will automatically and gradually increase the valuation of that product and therefore its relevance within the search engine but only up to the maximum you select here. We recommend a maximum of two. You can test and go up to five, but remember that this is a multiplier. You can also disable this option, although we do not recommend it, because one of the main benefits that you can get from our smart search engine is its machine learning. Another customization option we offer for search results are the custom results. Custom results allow us to create personalized search results based on one or more terms. Let me show you how to create one. First, you have to choose a descriptive name. In this case, we can call it test rebook. You can activate it for a specific period or choose to always keep it active. In this case, we are going to keep it active. Let's imagine that in the stats section, you have found in the no results column that zero results are shown when users search for rebook. In that case, you can write rebook here to add the search term to the custom result. You can select exact match to show personalized results when people write exactly the word rebook or like you would do in this case, you can select broad match so that the custom result is activated whenever the search term contains this word or any variation and you add the term by clicking on add term. Next, you can select the products that will be shown for the rebook custom result. You can select individual products through the items tab where you can write Adidas, for example, and select which products you want to show instead of rebook ones. By clicking on the plus sign, you add them to the column on the right, and these products will be the ones shown when searching for rebook. You could also select several products in bulk using the filters or facets that you have already created. You can select filters, click on choose field, and in the drop down menu, you will see all your filters. In this case, let's select brand. Now you can select Adidas and click OK and confirm the selection by clicking add filters. You can add more than one condition. For example, if you only want to show Adidas products in black when people search for rebook, you could click on choose field again and you would choose the color filter and in the next drop down, you would select black. And then you only need to click on add filter to confirm. You can also mix between products added manually through the items tab and products um, added in bulk through the filters tab. You also have the possibility to exclude certain products from your custom results. The procedure is exactly the same as before, but instead of including these products for the search, um, they would be excluded. You can use these two options however you like, depending on your needs. Finally, you have to choose if you only want to show products that you have selected manually, or if on the other hand, you want to display natural results after the products that you have selected. Click on save and now you have it working on your search engine. Now let's go to the next section, banners. You can configure banners that will be displayed at the top of your searches and decide if you want them to be displayed when your visitors perform a certain search or if you want them to be displayed for any search, you decide. 
you can create up to 100 different banners. Let's create a banner as an example. First, click on Add New, and let's give this banner a descriptive name to recognize it easily. For example, Sale T-shirts. Activate the banner by selecting Enable this banner, and here you can make this one a default banner for any search so that if there is no other banner configured for that search, this will be the one shown. After that, you can choose a specific period of time to display the banner. And if you don't select a specific period of time, the banner will remain active indefinitely. In the search terms section, you can enter the search terms that will activate this banner in particular. In this case, let's go with t-shirt or shirt. Now you can choose if you want an exact match or a broad match. If you want the banner to be activated when someone writes exactly t-shirt or shirt, you should click on exact match. And if you want the banner to appear when they write any term that contains the word shirt or t-shirt, for example, Adidas shirt, you should select broad match. Once you have chosen, click on add term. Next, you can upload the banner that you want to display. You can upload um, any JPEG, PNG or GIF. They are all accepted formats. The dimensions and maximum sizes of the file are indicated here. Click on upload desktop and preview the uploaded image at the top. You have the option to upload a banner so that it is shown only on mobile phones. The procedure is the same, but the banner will be shown only to mobile users. If you don't upload any banner here, the banner you have uploaded before will automatically display on mobile devices. You can also configure the banner completely via HTML if you want. Finally, it would be necessary to add the destination URL for when the users click on your banner, for example, yourdomain.com slash cases. By selecting the option, open the link in a new window, users will be taken to a new window when they click on the banner. Click to save and our banner should be working. Now let's go to the redirection section. Redirects can help you channel searches for specific search terms. The maximum number of redirects that you can configure is 100. There are many times when users are going to be searching for something that is not a product. For example, your return policy or their order status. And thanks to this feature, you will be able to take someone searching for returns and send them to a page where they are going to learn everything they need to know. Let's create a redirect as an example. First, click on Add New, and as always, select a descriptive name, for example, Returns. Then click Enable the redirection to make it active, and in Search Terms, simply introduce the term that will trigger the redirection. In this case, let's select Returns. You can add as many terms as you want, you have the option to select if you want the redirections to be activated when someone writes exactly returns. In this case, um, you would click the exact match option, or if on the contrary, you want the banner to appear every time someone writes a search containing the term returns. In this case, we are going to select exact match and then click on add term. Next, we're going to select the URL to where you want to send your users. For example, yourdomain.com slash returns. And finally, you are going to choose if the redirection will happen automatically when someone writes return by selecting enable automatic redirections, or if they also have to push enter after the search to be redirected. If that's the case, simply leave the option unchecked. Then click save and the redirection will be working. And last but not least, synonyms. The synonym functionality connects different words that can represent the same product or group of products. For example, tennis shoes, sneakers, sports shoes. 
Imagine a product catalog that is indexing the word sneakers. Then if a user searches for sports shoes, DoFinder will not return the correct results. Since the word is not appearing in the index data, it does not appear in the title or the description of the product. Simply by configuring the following synonym, you don't need to change your entire catalog. Simply write sports shoes, coma, sneakers, and do finder will re-index the catalog associating the term sports shoes with the term sneakers. So that when searching for a sneakers or a sports shoes, do finder will return the correct results. It is important to understand that at least one of the words a configure in the synonym string must exist in the index data. To confirm, click on save and that's it.